Hey guys, um, maybe I'm in a bad mood because I injured my leg while running today, but anyway, I thought I just want to get this off my chest. Core OS is something I've been watching really closely, really interesting operating system. Digital, Digital Ocean is, is what I've been using lately in Singapore because five bucks a month um, is a pretty good deal and the UI is quite nice. But they have made some changes recently and I was trying to roll out Core OS recently and I ran into some problems. It all started when I noticed that um, that when I'm when I'm doing a Docker pull in my in my service file, which I actually got from CoreOS itself, it was failing. So the network wasn't ready when it was doing a pull, and then the error something looks like this. So if you're like have your service files copied into a CoreOS, and um, and then and they try and they fail to do it. A Docker pull, then everything sort of grinds to a halt. So I, um, I got on IRC, CoreOS IRC, and this guy named Kairos, I'm not too sure exactly who he is, but we had a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I discovered a few things. What I discovered that um, that evidently copying in the service files like I do in, in etc systemd system, just I just usually just SCP it in there and then enable it and then reboot. That's not the way forward. I should be using cloud in it. And you'd be thinking, what What on earth is cloud in it? And this is the way... Ooh, sorry, I've lost my place here. This is where your cloud in it configuration goes. I don't know if you noticed the new uh, DigitalOcean user interface, but you put your cloud in it thing in there, and then you like... And the whole idea is that, that CoreOS and, and DigitalOcean, I think, love this uh, because it allows them to spawn more droplets and charge you more. The idea is that you create stateless systems. And to be honest, I'm, I'm a big proponent of stateless systems, but um, not at the cost of sort of uh, isolating people like me who don't want clusters, who want to keep things simple. Um, like for example, let me see if I can. Th this is the one of their cloud configurations. I mean, it's quite. It's like 500 lines long. Okay, this is a, looks like a complicated service with SSL and all sorts of other stuff. But like, I don't like this configuration style. I don't. And furthermore, the guy told me. I mean, it's obviously a bug on DigitalOcean that you can't change the configuration once you spawn the droplet. Um, so. You know, heaven knows how you're supposed to even develop something like this and have iterations if you can't change it. You would have to kill it and then start again. I mean, even if droplets take a minute to spawn, this is sounding like a nightmare. I just wanted to say that, like, I am all in favor of a stateless system. Because why? Because I have my own business, my own operating system, Web Converger, the one that I developed. That's been a stateless system for, 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 for years and years now. Um, I'm just going to run through an example how it works. It's like you, you have your configuration. Um, and it's managed in uh, by me, in a sense, while the it's kept in one centralized place, config.wakeconverter.com, which has some redundancy. And you just have a line-based configuration file. So the, the system is stateless. So you can add new machines, and the, and the machines will sort of like uh, query this URL for their configuration, and they'll download it and they get it applied. And I've been looking at the cloud init stuff and it seems just so massively complicated and I'm thinking, I'm like patting myself on the back here for getting Web Converger right. And I can see that they have bugs and issues and, and basically alienating people like me. I'm like, just like, like with Web Converger there's actually the way it works that uh, the configuration downloads into like a well-known location like etc webc command line and also you can put stuff on the kernel like just looking at this it just looks so ugly and then they also look at looking looks like they have some sort of what do you call it locations so that stuff gets gets downloaded from um, from the uh, hosting provider but like, it looks so ugly and convoluted and doesn't look tasteful. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I think, I think I'm, 
I wish there was more choice than what these OS's here now. Anyway, end of rant. My wife has walked into the room. I hope you, um, I hope you feel my, feel my pain.